Hey everyone, Andre here, and I'm really excited to be showing you the first glimpse at one of my new Slim UI Solutions packages that I'm working on for you guys. Now this one is going to be basically a character customizer slash creator, and it's all using Unity's UGUI system, so everything's built into the engine, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. So I want to jump in and show you what I have so far. Uh, this is something that I developed over the past week and a half. I'm working on several other things, so I haven't put too much time into this, but I felt it was um, at least ready to give you a first impression of the general vibe of it. And I'm um, hoping to get some feedback from you guys about what you think it should be turned into or what could be added, what can be adjusted and just general feedback overall. So first thing you're going to see here is in about a couple seconds, I am going to rank up because this bar is automatically ranking up and Boom, there we go. That is my level up and the level up animation is basically just ranking up and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Every time you rank up, it gives you some credits that you can spend on buying new paint unlocks to paint this character. So first thing I want to talk about is this little tooltip, basically tooltip with the blur, the blur shader in the back. So it's pretty fun to uh, mess around with that and have the blur on lots of different objects in the scene because it's really cool. When you hover over these buttons, you have the text on the bottom left of the screen sort of displaying what the, the button is when you're hovering over it. And I wanna go into each one of these uh, different sections and show you what I have. Now these two don't do anything yet. So weapons, when you just press it, it just has this little UI particle effect. So that's kind of fun. Um, and by fun, I mean it's a little detail that's completely useless and pointless, but it's still cool to have because you can make that whatever you want and you don't have to enable it unless you want to. It's one of the parameters that I'll have for you. Now, basically, this whole thing is split up into three different scripts. There is the main manager that handles all the different shaders on the character. It handles things like the user interface updating, like the credit number. Uh, basically this rank up automatic scrolling rank up script and just tracking your rank. This is all um, tracked uh, in one script. Then there's the basic item script, which is basically this. So basic, uh, basically the, here we go. Let's load up the paint window. So all the paints that you have when you press on the different items, uh, it calls uh, this little item script that I have on each one of these uh, prefabbed potential unlocks and then it sends that signal back to the main script and then it actually changes the shader so i'm very simple and uh yeah it's pretty cool so i actually my favorite one is this dark avenger i'll go through the different namings of the colors really quick so we got solus dark avenger eternal flames vibrance dark sea clear sky forest royal red glory and standard issue Dark Avenger is my favorite because I love the, the, the red and whites, red and blacks, that sort of color scheme. It's really cool. Now, when you press on these, uh, you get the particle effect and you get these little sort of flash effects that happen on every single one of the buttons. Very, very easy to set that up. It takes a few seconds. Because these are all prefabbed, uh, you can basically, I mean, I would not recommend changing one and then applying it because then it'll overwrite every single one. That's just how Unity works. But what you can do is you can uh, just use the prefab and quickly adjust the color of the buttons and it's very very easy because you just assign a little integer number and then that is what assigns the shader that you set in the other script so very very simple it takes just a few seconds to add extra colors and this is using unity's grid layout which means i can rearrange these in any order and i can add as many as i want and unity will automatically organize it into this window I did not organize it in this, you know, this column and rows pattern here. Uh, I did not do this. Unity did it for me. And it's pretty cool because it's actually really powerful. And I'm, I'm really excited to be able to use it finally because I've never really done something grid based like this with Unity's UI before, at least not recently, only in mobile. So it's pretty cool. Let's go back. Uh, secondary paint. I'm actually going to keep it at white. Although you see when you press this, it has this little animation that pops up. I like having these smooth animations and we're going to go back here and we're going to go to the body now. So it zooms into the body. I have these different camera states for the feet, body, head, and then the, uh, the overall body look. So it just zooms out and it shows you everything. 
Uh, you cannot rotate the character right now. I'm not sure if I want to do that. But if you guys like that and you really want to have that, then let me know and you know I can add that. Um, but I don't think it works for this, but maybe you guys will have some ideas on how I can actually implement that if you really think that that's important when you're making this you know, character customization. I love this blur shader at the bottom. That's just the coolest thing for me in Unity's UI, it's just having this blur effect. All right, uh, the body paint. We're gonna make him have the soulless color and then we're gonna give his coat the Dark Avenger vibe. See, I love that the shader that comes with the Atom model is so well made that no matter what color you choose, it still feels um, it still feels like it could actually be that color. So really well made, very uh, easy to use for this project, very fun. Check that out and zoom out. Look at this, level up, levels up in awesomeness and in just levels. See, I got an XP booster because I pre-ordered this, so that's why I have my uh, you know, my experience ranking up so fast. Yeah, um, yep, that's totally why it's doing that. <laughs> anyway, zooming in on the footwear. Now, I haven't set this one up yet, but you can see uh, on the bottom left, it keeps showing the text, but the texts are, are very wrong because I didn't actually change the text on all of them. So they basically just say the same thing. Don't worry about that. It's not like that for all of them. It's just the way it is now. But because the Atom model doesn't really have many options in terms of the meshes that you can turn on and off. I basically just made it so there's just the one paint which paints these boots. There is the design which is again that's basically enabling and disabling meshes. Now I will add that option so you guys can add things and take away things to whatever character you decide to put here instead of the Atom model. Um, but I don't have that in, the, in this demo right now, but basically the headgear will have an option up here that just says, you know, design. It's actually already built. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So this is actually what it looks like. I just enabled it. So I know uh, the texts aren't right, but basically this is what it will look like. You just press whatever you want to buy and then it will uh, assign that to the head. But um, I don't need that right now because I haven't actually uh, added any extra meshes. But again, I'll add the option there so you can do it with your projects because I'm sure you guys will want to experiment with it. So it's going to be colors and changing materials colors. Uh, so just basic shader customization. I might be able to do things like uh, how shiny you want the character to be sort of something along the lines of the material, physical based material editor customization in Anthem because Anthem's got something really, really cool. Um, this is not based on Anthem, but I'm just thinking about the first thing that comes to mind when you can actually change the roughness of a material. So I'll have a, a roughness slider, uh, but that's coming very soon. But that's basically it. Uh, you can save the customization. So there you go. So very simple feature, but it basically just saves the values of all the shaders. So next time you load it up, it'll automatically assign what you had already previously saved. So very simple, but it's pretty cool and handy to have. Uh, and that will come with the package. So save customization, I'm gonna say yes. And boom, there we go. Okay, and the last thing is this class button. So this is the class window, very simple. Uh, it tells you about the endurance, dexterity, resilience, density, which is, you know, brief descriptions about the impact force and damage resistance. Of course, there's no real game so there, this doesn't really do anything and this you know design is very early so i know it's not ex exactly aesthetically pleasing i am adding things so there will be three different classes you know default classes you can choose from uh me stalker there's firestorm stalker if you select it it changes it so you're a lot faster and everything else is kind of meh your special ability is the whisperer there's firestorm which has its own and you got uh, Brute, which is it, uh, its own thing too. So these uh, these values here on the bar are changed uh, by the values that you set in the third script, which is the uh, subclass script. So it holds all the information about what class you're changing to. So it holds this name, you know, the name of this of the class, the special ability. Uh, so you can call that later if you choose to do so. Uh, but it, but this is all really just you know, UI extra details that don't really do anything for the game. So you can change this to whatever you want. 
The foundation is here and the prefabs are here, so you can customize it. Yep, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you like it so far. I know it's not much, but this is really exciting for me because I love to keep creating more UI packages for you guys. The other one that I was showing you about the, the modern menu, that one's coming along very well. I have an update that I'm going to show very soon because it's it looks a lot better. And I'm currently sending it to some of my friends that work in the industry, uh, specifically in user interface and UX, um, to send feedback back to me about what they actually think. And uh, depending on the feedback that I get, that will determine whether or not I have to add extra things or fix some glaring issues. And just the overall last step of polishing up and organizing everything. So when you guys get it, it's in the best possible condition and easy to use. Drag and drop out of the box solutions is the point of Slim UI. And I hope I can stay consistent with that in everything that I release. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that little notification bell because that's how you'll know when I'm posting stuff. Uh, like the video, comment, of course, give your feedback. And yeah, really, really excited to see what you guys think. So I'll see you in the next video.